Hey guys, I got a lot of questions on uh, what this setup actually looks like from the pilot and second operator's side. Uh, so I thought I'd make another video. Um, Alright, so this is the pilot's controller. I have it set to thermal. Uh, he has full control over the gimbal. I'll go over that in just a moment. But uh, uh, in this case, the pilot likes to use the, uh, the thermal as his uh, FPV and his coordination um, camera as well. So that's why the pilot controller is set to thermal. The second operator controller over here is set to the Z30. As you can see me in the picture. Um, I'm using a Nexus tablet. Uh, that's why you don't see the picture on here. Uh, I'm told that the iPads and newer tablets uh, um, work at a faster processor speed. So normally you would see the uh, Z30's picture on this tablet as well. Um, Every now and then it comes up but it, and goes away, but it's, uh, it's probably just something with my tablet. Either way, uh, I've just plugged in an HDMI monitor to the back of the controller via its HDMI port here. I've also enabled picture-in-picture, -picture, which is right here. So you can, can, you can see the, uh, the thermal as well as the color on the same screen. Uh, this particular customer also has a uh, monitor that they set up in the field uh, to allow other people uh, to see exactly what the drone sees. Um, if they have uh, the business owner or other clients that uh, want to watch and uh, maybe pick up on something that the operators don't. Uh, so they also output this HDMI um, to a monitor that's connected to a generator uh, as well. So just another use of the HDMI port and um, the picture-in-picture -picture and all the capabilities of the uh, M600. So, get rid of that. There we go. I'll go over my settings really quick. I'm sure there'll be questions on what all this looks like. So, I am in the HD menu, image transmission settings. I just have the channel set to auto. Simultaneous image output to app and HDMI. Uh, no real reason to turn that off. Set my bandwidth allocation set to 5050. Um, enable EXT port, that is on. And my output mode is set to light bridge. And that's all I've set up on the pilot side. Let's go over to the second operator side. Same deal, I'm in the HD. Little more options. Um, image transmission settings. Well, let me make sure. Yeah, I'm still connected. Um, HDMI SDI video output. That's set to on. App output mode. I have it set to EXT, which would be the Z30 camera. Output port is set to HDMI. Output mode is set to picture in picture. Light bridge. Um, you got a couple options here. You can have light bridge, uh, Z30, or EXT as as. It's also known as uh, picture in picture light bridge, picture in picture EXT. Um, so you could swap these signals if you wanted to. Um, output format, I've just got it set to the highest, which I believe is 108060. Um, I don't really have any OSD settings that I changed, but if I wanted to, I could. And these just change these OSD margins by changing those. Um, I could even turn off the OSD if you just want a clean picture. Turn that back on. Um, picture in picture for HDMI. Uh, you can move this around if I want this in the top left. Bottom left. Top right. Bottom right. And uh, signal diagnostics. If you want to look at that. And uh, yeah, so those are the settings. And this is this allows for the uh, second operator to control the Z30. Let me just zoom out. There we go. He's got his uh, pan set to the left stick, like the rudder on a copter. He's got his tilt set to the right stick. You can control the zoom by holding down. I believe it's one of the C buttons. I can't do it with one hand, but you hold down one of the C buttons and then you can zoom in 
and out uh, via the controller instead of the tablet itself. Um, go back over here. You also got to be careful on the pilot side. You can also control there's your zoom for the uh, Z30. So the pilot just needs to make sure that he's not um, changing any of the other settings that the uh, second operator is when he's looking at a, or inspecting something. So speaking of, let's uh, let's go over the controls again on how I'm controlling the thermal camera. This copter has the um, external module plugs into the back of the controller there with, uh, with another little pack that it comes with. Uh, this particular one is set up so that the S1 knob controls the pan, S2 controls the tilt, S3 controls the gimbal mode, and on the other side the S5 and S6 buttons here, the two switches, control the start stop and he's got three different palettes that he goes through. I believe one's white hot, and one's black hot, and the other one is fusion. We have it on fusion right now. So that's that. Pretty seamless. This is a pretty incredible option for those that uh, are doing anything from uh, utilities inspection like um, power line, substation, um, wind turbine, dam inspection, um, anything as far as like infrastructure, uh, it's perfect. You can zoom in with the Z30 and uh, if the client also wants uh, thermal for checking for fatigue or leaks or heat dissipation, you name it, you've got your thermal, you've got your zoom, and uh, you're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. So this is a uh, perfect interim solution or maybe even a better solution of the upcoming M210 and it's made possible with the FLIR View Pro. This is a FLIR View Pro R640 resolution and it's attached to the Fiotech FG brushless gimbals. Fully 3-axis, fully stabilized, and we're fully controlling it from a DJI controller almost like factory. Um, got the uh, wires just hanging off the side here but I'm going to route them internally so it'll look real clean but you can kind of see how I ran the wires from the gimbal to the A3 controller just like so. So hopefully this answers a bunch of questions that I've been getting as far as uh, you know what it looks like on the controllers, uh, how both of them are operating at the same time, etc. And uh, if you want a solution like this, uh, please don't hesitate to give us a call 406-897-1027 or send me an email. My email is support at quadrocopter.com. I'd love to make this happen for you. All right, thanks guys. Oh.